Hello, Maurice Dimba is my name. Welcome to this presentation. Today we are going to fix palins on our previous model of overhead crane rail structure. Let's kick off here by going straight to steel on steel beam. But prior to, do, to doing that, we have to reorient our axis like I did here previously, but I'll show you how to do it. By going to view, under view, you come to work plane, pick work plane tool there, and hover your cursor on top of the rafter. There you go. Just go to navigate under view and rotate about that point. I didn't disable that work plane tool command that's why it's taking another orientation. I'll go ahead and interrupt that by going to view again, coming to work plane, drop down arrow, click work plane tool. I'll hover it again on top of the rafter and click there. I'll go ahead and right click and click interrupt to disable that work plane tool command. I'll go back to view, under view, I'll, I want to rotate this point about the, that point and press my left button key on the mouse and turn this around to check whether the axis has taken the orientation or has taken the slope of the rafter. Just take a look. Nice placement. Now we are going to place our palins. We'll go straight to, to steel. Under steel, we will pick steel beam there. I want to start my placement of, of palins from this spot. But I'm unable to see it clearly. I'll go back to view and click navigate and rotate this model about that point and turn. So once I've turned like this, like this I'll be able to see the point I'm going to place my palin. I'll zoom it out slightly and check if at this point I'll be able to get to that point conveniently. It's, it's perfect. I'll start here by disabling that zoom in zoom out command or, or rotation command. I'll click interrupt and just hover over this spot. I'll get a midpoint here and snap on top of it. I'll go right to that section. I'll snap that midpoint. If you take a look on, on our palin, it, it's sinking on the rafter. It doesn't align itself on top of the rafter. I'll double click on this and come to position. Under position, I'll be able to adjust these three, three options, on plane rotation and at depth. I'll be able to change all this. I'll come here and click front. Not moving at all. I'll come here and click uh, and click left. Not changing at all, but it's changing but in the wrong direction. We will escape from that. We'll uh, click that and uh, right click to delete this. We want to snap properly. The reason why it is sinking, the cursor gave, it, gave us a position that is inside the rafter. Now we will come back to steel, steel and click steel beam, click steel beam there. Or we will click at this end, we will snap there and run all the way to this end and snap here, right there. Go to view, go to navigate, and click about that point and press your left button on the mouse and turn around. The placement is correct and perfect. Now, next thing, we want to give an offset of 100 or 200 away from the eave because if it stays like this, we will be unable to place our cleats. 
Now we will go ahead and run away from that command of rotation and click this member, right click and click move. To move, we want to snap at a point and give a direction where we want to move to. We will snap at this point and place our cursor showing the direction of our movement command. We will, uh, we will click, uh, place it there and enter a dimension we expect or we want to move it to. I'll type 200 on the keyboard and enter. A movement command has been effected with the restriction of our measurement. Perfect. Now, next, next thing we are going to do, we are going to copy this. Right click, copy this from this spot and join it with this spot right there. Perfect. Copy this, right click, copy that from that spot and link it to this spot. But before we proceed, we want to place our clit and check whether it will be perfectly joining these two palings. We'll click this member. It won't be correct. This member and this member must, must meet in the middle of this rafter. We will undo this. Click that. Right click and delete. Click this. Right click and delete. We will come back here. and trim this in the middle. We'll come to edit, we'll come to points, come to points, we'll click at any position, we'll click at that point and click at that point and click again on those two points and give an offset using a copy command. Just click on that point and snap at a point that will give a straight line from those two points. We'll snap there and type 100 and enter. 100 is too big, but th there is no need of doing the same thing. We will get a midpoint of these two. We'll come to points and go to online and click that. Come to the first point and the second point and click you'll get the, the midpoint of the two, which will be now useful for you, useful for you, and delete the unnecessary points like these ones, and delete. Now, we need another point on the other side. We will click this, right click, copy, and hold it from this, from this spot. Click and place it here. We want to trim off this point. Now, we will go ahead Using line cut, we'll click on the point on the on this member, pick on the first point, the next point, and click the side we want to trim off. That side, right click. Same thing. We want to apply on the other side. Click this, and click that. Right click, copy, move this side and place it here. Delete that. We need accurate location of the points. We just come to any position, click here and click there. Delete inaccurate point. Click that, press control and click this, right click to copy this, click that and snap on a straight point.
the straight point type 50 perfect we'll come to line cut to help us in trimming of this point this part perfect right click click and right click and redraw click this member right click copy it from that point just run all the way to this spot again here we have a problem but we'll just place it here Just undo this, click everything there, click this, click that, right click, delete, go to view, come to navigation, rotate about that point, turn around, come to steel, steel beam, snap on that spot run all the way to snap on this spot right click come to view rotate this model let's rotate this and pick on that spot rotate come to steel steel beam Click on that spot. Click on that spot. Right click. Turn around. Come to steel. On steel beam. Right on that spot. There. Come again from that spot. Just zoom closer. Right there. Again on that spot. Again on that spot. this end just zoom closer to make sure you snap accurately and on the right spot click there and again pick it on that spot just zoom out and zoom very close for accuracy Make sure you are on the, the right spot. Snap on that same same spot. Right there. And on the same spot, pick another starting point of another palin. right there and start right there again and snap here perfect 
close this come here and rotate this at about that point now what we are going to do is to highlight all this before we highlight all those we want to do we want to place our clips just turn around this click on that and turn around click that but we we must give this palins an offset of the eve click that click everything to the very end right click give a move command from here just place your cursor there but don't click doing this is just to give a move command direction now type 100 and enter which is not very far away still give a move command of same same value 100 and enter next thing we are going to do is to place our clips before we copy this double click on that we want to extend this member we come to that and type here 100 not perfect and do that bring it back to zero 100 negative 100 will be better for us 50 don't want much overlap 70 perfect accept that now we will come to cold cold rolled sleeve number 119 click that click this member and click that member and press your middle button on the mouse the other stay should not worry you just double click there and come to parameters stay pick left apply and accept that turn this around sitting well we'll come here and click on the same same on the same same cold rolled kind of a joint of, of, of palins click this as the main member click this and this and press your middle button on the mouse just move the, the, that way to the very end but if you're keen enough we are going on with single stay which is not right because we have palins on both sides so we actually need two stays both reinforcing palin on this side and palin on that side we'll click here here and there and press our middle button there but come back and double click on that and come to parameters and change this to both and click modify apply and accept that what has happened is what you really required turn around this and check go go ahead and move on click this and this and press your middle button on the mouse just move on this and this press your middle button on the on the mouse this and this and press your middle button this and this and press your middle button this and this and the middle button on the mouse this and this and press the middle button of the mouse 
to effect the jo that joint this and this and press your middle button on the mouse here again we need a single cleat a single cleat now what we are going to do we are going to change this we're coming to, coming to parameters and coming to stay and pick right modify and apply we actually have the palin on the left on the right side good right click click there and, and turn this around turn around this perfect now what we are going to do we are going to copy we, we are going to copy this we will go ahead and highlight all this by pressing control make sure all the all the stays are are, pick, are, are uh, highlighted click that click this and click that click this and that click this and that this one and this this and that and that now go ahead and right click come to special copy linear and we'll feed here same value 1200 we need six of this copy right click okay click there and turn this around rotate this at a point click there and turn this check your stays sitting well right click click there and disable that we'll go ahead and change our our axis come to view work plane work plane tool and click there right click and interrupt that now we are going to select all this select that select this that and that that and that and that go ahead and select that and that that and that this and that this and this this and that make sure everything is highlighted before you invoke the mirror command 
very important like that and this like this and that this and this just go on pick that and that this and that this and this this and that and that one and that this and this let's move a bit faster and that one this and this this and that we are close this and that this and that one we are close to the very end That, that. Click that, click this, that one, and this, and this one. Deselect that. We selected that by mistake. Now we'll come here and use this point as our mirror line. We'll right click, come to special copy, mirror. This will be our mirror line from this spot to this end. Click there. Click copy. Click OK. Let's come to navigate. Click that and rotate. It has mirrored. But there is a problem here. This sh should not worry you. You'll come here, double click on this, come to parameters and change this to right, modify and accept. Let's click on this, come to parameters, come to left, come to right, Modify and accept. Click that, click that, click that, click that. And double click on the last. Come to parameters. Pick right. Bring closer and see what's going on. Once you've clicked this, just go ahead and click that. Everything change together following the command that following the command and instruction that you fed into that box now perfect right click pick that copy this copy it here from that spot to this spot. I click and check where another place where there is some 
incorrect connections same here double click here come to param parameters come to stay pick left now to to do the same thing on and off just select all this just select all this double click on the last and come to stays you pick left apply and accept come to navigate click that and rotate right click click on the screen and right click and redraw turn this perfect now palins are placed the right in their right places and stays also in their right places just turn around this check that joint perfectly placed turn this round check that joint and check that on that spot pick on that spot and turn perfectly done perfectly done Thank you for watching this video. We will wind up at that spot and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.